So, hello guys. So, um, there is my first video about uh, making a um, arched up uh, surface with uh, the um, loft tool. Um, this is the way I prefer, even it's really finicky sometimes because um, I make some laminated top arched up guitar and I use a male and female mold. So the two molds have to be perfectly the same. And uh, as I use sometimes very thin laminated uh, wood strip, uh, I have no place to um, send some bump and stuff like that. So the surface has to be perfect uh, from the from the beginning. Um, also, I always liked uh, mathematical stuff, so you know, and I want to be able to use the parametric uh, possibilities of version 360. So uh, here is the video, and um, hope it can help some of you. I struggle a lot <laughs> before getting there. Uh, I asked a lot of questions on the Forum 360 forum, and a guy named Trippy Lightning uh, helped me a lot. I will put the link into the description. Uh, there is a screencast uh, that in fact do what I am doing here uh, with a better accent. I'm French, so my accent is not always the, the better. <laughs> so, first, you have to work on half of your design. It's way, way, way easier. And uh, you always be able to mirror it or to do another half if the two halves are not the same. Uh, so as you can see, I have my control left and control right. We will work with the control left. Other really important stuff. Your design has to be on the origin points at, uh, at some points. Uh, it's easier, the less you use uh, construct, other construct plane, the better it will be. So if you are able to use the original construct plane, uh, you save you some uh, problem and some uh, version 360 bugs. <laughs> so um, I didn't draw the center line there, but because the, this axis, this plane is in fact my center line. So. I do not really need it, just have to be sure this point is at zero and zero there. Uh, <clears throat> so uh, after, this is my uh, primal shape. Um, again, the less, uh, the less line or curvature you are, the less points, the better it will be, the smoother it will be. So, um, yeah, I have just have this uh, straight line there uh, because I will have a neck plane, but it's for another video. And um, you see that I have just one line. In fact, I, I draw it by, you know, it's a spline going from there to there, there, there and there. Um, after I constrain it with those vertical and horizontal constraint, so uh, to have a pretty neat design, really simple. Um, now we will design our curve. So our center line, I use the center plane, create a new sketch, and I want to go from this point to a point somewhere in the middle to my zero point. Okay. So now I shift on the right. I will add some distance. So always for distance, try to go from the origin points. So here we are. 16 millimeters for the eighth of my arch top and I can add another distance there is a distance from the front of the guitar to the highest point so I will go for two 17 millimeters 
then we will constrain this point I want it to be horizontal this one also and this one also <clears throat> as I said we are making a really simple arch tab there is no neck plane on this one okay uh, I like to you can use this you know to change the shape of your center line um, what I like is to use the move so I have some kind of control over the the amounts I use so 10 millimeters more okay really simple or maybe a little more again flatter one okay so I like it it's not perfect but let's go with this one so now some of you will tell me okay now we can loft from there to there but if we do that we'll we will end up probably maybe with a ridge there because we want these parts when we love to be tangent to depart to the other half of the guitar so it's really smooth so the best way to do that is to use some surface so first we will make the other surface that will be our helper surface there is two ways you can do that, but in fact there is only one way. The simpler way would be to make an offset sketches, close it, and to make a patch with this tool. But if you do that, there is some bug in Fusion 360 and it do not work, believe me. Uh, you can see uh, triple lightning in the Fusion 360 forum point me to this, to this bug. So the other way is to extrude this to offset this surface so go there offset this one 10 millimeters then we close the gap with the loft tool there and we can remove the origin for now and there And then stitch all this together. And there are so. Oops. Okay. And now we could patch this top surface. That's the one I will use. So now I'm just we could remove the other one. I could name it helper. Okay. Now we do another surface there. Extrude. As we are on the Y plan, you see up we can do this. Okay. Now we are our oh, two refine. We can now laugh if we want, we can laugh right there. From there, don't forget to get this little part to there. And the important stuff, we want the profile two to be tangent. And I will add the profile line one. Okay, so if you check the surface, we have really smooth now surface. Just watch with zebra, high quality. As you can see, the loft is really, really smooth. You really have a great surface there. You can watch it this way. Okay. You can even watch it with the ISO curve. Let's put some more. You see, 
honestly I will be pretty happy with this one but I know we like to have some controls so what I will do I will add some curve because I want the top to be a little more flatter so we bring back our origins and what I want to do is to draw some rail that will guide our loft so to do this I will take some coordinates from this point for example and construct some plane at the right position so one over there this one probably one of the most important so construct a plane there and this one construct not that I use those points but as I will not use my uh, sketches I could have put those plane at another place but as those points are my further and inner points I I like to use them so now let's draw our first curve so we choose this plane create a sketch now we have to find the intersections so you use the intersect to find the intersect between this and this surface and the plane okay so now you see there and now we draw our spline between those two points so now two way you can use the horizontal vertical constraint for the handle the handle but or you can use the tangent so now for this one I will use the tangent the result will be the same and as I said I want this part to be flatter so I like to use the move tool again okay and you see I have a more flatter part there I like it like that so I can keep with that but if I no well I will just show you if I loft so from there to there and use my rail you can see that over there I will add the tangents you'll see that there I, I have a kind of ridge because you try to conform with this curve everywhere so is like torn between the tangent I ice came to do and this curve so I will add that's why I create this plane to add another curve there also you have to understand that this curve has to be tangent with this and this or at least have the, vert the horizontal constraint so you ask the love to go tangent from this this surface to this surface but if you had a ray that is not tangent you, you understand that the love tool start to to creep out <laughs> so let's make this other curve there so the same we create an intersection I will show you I can use the surface but I can use also just the edge and use this point it will work the same so if I use just the point I cannot use the uh, tangent constraint I will use just the horizontal constraint but it worked the same I have never had problem before so okay now 
Let's do our other curve then. Okay, and let's constrain this, that, and this with that. And let's make it flatter too. Maybe we have a pickup over there on this guitar, so like this. Yeah, I like it. Okay. And we could do another one in front, but you get the point. So I would do not do it right there. So now let's go. So we love from this surface to this one. Tangent, tangent, and we add our ray on. Okay, so we can hide our elbows. Can inspect it. I'd like to have more. Seems beautiful now. As you can see, as I did not use a front one, it's maybe not as smoother, but the best way to check the smoothness is to use the ISO curve. Oh yes, I like it. Hmm. That's nice. So now let's do this one, create the mirror, mirror plane is this one, as this plane was our center line there is no problem and now we can stitch these two one together, okay, inspect, oh sorry. And we have a nice smooth surface. Now, if I'm right, if I edit these sketches and make it maybe just in the eight of this one, let's go for a crazy eight, twenty-five. Yes, it works. <laughs> so that's it for this simple loft <laughs> uh, up plates. In the next video, I will show you how I use it to make uh, neck plane like on a Les Paul guitar. Uh, it's a little bit trickier but uh, I get it really smooth the same way. So um, thanks for watching and uh, see you for the next video. Bye!